so today's topic is a state pathway and coming to the state pathway it occupies the central position in relation to general metabolism and in this the starting material is acetyl coenzyme a so acetyl coenzyme a it acts as a precursor for the acetate pathway so this pathway is known as acetate pathway okay so this acetyl coenzyme a it uh, leads to the formation of uh, straight chain compounds as well as the aromatic compounds right coming to this acetate pathway so here we can see uh, acetate pathway it occurs in mainly two routes or uh, we have two types of acetate pathways that is acetate mevalonate pathway and acetate malonate pathway so acetate mevalonate pathway it is also known as isoprenoid pathway or hmg coa reductase pathway or mevalonate pathway acetate mevalonate pathway it is also known as isoprenoid pathway because it leads to the formation or biosynthesis or it involves in the biosynthesis of isoprenoids so this is also known as isoprenoid pathway and as the mevalonic acid is produced from the acetyl uh, coa so acetyl coa it forms the mevalonic acid and from the mevalonic acid we get this isoprenoids or tapenoids so this pathway is also known as mevalonate pathway, isoprenoid pathway and there is involvement of HMG-CoA reductase. HMG-CoA uh, undergoes reduction and forms mevalonic acid. So this is also known as HMG-CoA reductase pathway. So all these are the names of acetate mevalonate pathway. So acetate pathway, we have two pathways, acetate mevalonate pathway mevalonate pathway or it's also known as isoprenoid pathway or it also known as hmg coa reductase pathway okay so this pathway it mainly involves in the synthesis of terpenes and steroids so second one is acetate melonate pathway so this acetate melonate pathway in this both the acetyl coa and malonyl coa okay so sl coa carrier proteins are involved in case of this acetate malonate pathway okay both the acyl acp and malonyl acp will be involved in the formation of fatty acids and polyketides the main role of this acetate melonate pathway is helps in the synthesis of fatty acids and polyketides okay so uh, this is the schematic representation of uh, the overall pathway so from the glycolysis we will get pyruvate and from the pyruvate we will get the acetyl coa so this acetyl coa is the starting material for both the acetate mevalonate pathway and acetate melonate pathway so this acetyl coa it also involves in tricarboxylic acid cycle so here we are concerned with these two pathways right acetate mevalonate pathway and acetate melonate melonate um, pathway okay so in case of acetate mevalonate pathway so this gives rise to isoprenoids and also terpenes terpenes are the oxygenated products isoprenoids it contains uh, just carbon and hydrogen right so from isoprenoids it is terpenes and uh, on this other hand isoprenoids it also produces squalene and from the squalene we get steroids okay so in case of acetate melonate pathway so in this the melonyl coa is involved along with the acetyl coa okay so this leads to the formation of fatty acids like lipids waxes fats etc So, so this is about the acetate mevalonate pathway. So, acetate mevalonate pathway. So, the enzyme involved is acetyl coenzyme A. So, it's also known as active acetate. Acetyl coenzyme A, it, it is also known as active acetate. And this was discovered in the year 1950. And so, further supported the role of acetic acid in the biogenetic pathways. 
okay so the acetyl coa was isolated or discovered in the year 1950 and it is also known as active acetate so later mevalonic acid was found to be associated with the acetate right it contributes this pathway contributes one third of known secondary metabolites uh, which involves the biosynthesis of isoprenes and terpenoids steroids etc i mean some vitamins vitamin k and vitamin d right so here isoprene units isoprene units means which contains c5 and h8 in their structure okay so isoprene units it contains five carbon atoms in their structure c5 h8 okay the terpenoids means it can they, they are the oxygenated products oxygenated compounds so containing this isoprene unit c5 h8 but along with that it contains oxygen okay so isoprenes contains only carbon and hydrogen whereas the terpenoids it contains carbon hydrogen and oxygen in their structure so next point coming to the next point the mevalonic acid further produces isopentanyl pyrophosphate ipp and its isomer dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate okay so here uh, starting with acetyl coa so acetyl coa it forms hmg coa reductase and from the hmg coa reductase it forms uh, mevalonic acid and from the mevalonic acid it forms mevalonic acid mevalonate 5 diphosphate or pyrophosphate and from that we will get isopentanyl pyrophosphate okay so this forms a isomer that is dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate so these two are important in the formation of further isoprenoids or terpenoids so these two main intermediates isopentanyl pyrophosphate and dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate set the active isoprene unit okay. so this involved in the formation of the isoprenoid compounds so basically what is the role of uh, this biosynthetic pathway they involve in the formation of anthraquinones naphthaquinones terpenoids some glycosides like cardiotonics uh, digoxygen detoxygen slarin strophanthanin all this will be synthesized from the same pathway and some alkaloids are also synthesized and all these are synthesized uh, some vitamins are there vitamin d vitamin k okay they are also synthesized through this pathway acetate mevalonate pathway right so here the acetyl coenzyme a is the starting material and from which the mevalonic acid is formed okay this is an intermediate so from the mevalonic acid pyrophosphate we get isopentanyl pyrophosphate and dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate these two are also intermediates okay so this involve in the reaction they involve in the formation of isoprene units okay so they are the precursors of building blocks of isoprenoids right so coming to the occurrence of this pathway so this pathway occurs in the eukaryotes and some bacteria and uh, even you can see this pathway acetate mevalonate pathway in plants as well as animals so here you can see the structure of isoprene unit so they are also known as hemiterpenes which contains only one isoprene by so one isoprene means c5 five carbon atoms in their structure okay so if the compound contains two isoprene units then it is called as monoterpenoids monoterpenoids contains two isoprene units okay so here you can see one two three four and five okay so one two three four and five okay so this is one isoprene unit and this is another isoprene unit monoterpenoids are made up of two isoprene units and next is sesquiterpenoids sesquiterpenes it contains three isoprene units so here we have a cleavage right so here so this indicates one isoprene unit and this one more isoprene unit and this is another isoprene unit okay so the sesquiterpenes it contains three isoprene units example is termarone and farnesol the next is diterpenoids diterpenoids means it contains four isoprene 
units. So example is geranium, geraniol and phyton. Okay. So here you can see this is one second isoprene unit, third isoprene unit and the fourth isoprene unit. So here also one and this is second one. This is the third one and this is the fourth. Okay. Up to here it is one and up to here it is one. This is the second one. This is the third isoprene unit and this is the fourth isoprene unit. In the same way, this is an isoprene unit and this is it's the second one and till here this is the third one okay so here this is the first one and this is the second isoprene unit okay so here this is the one isoprene unit and this is one more isoprene unit okay so now one and two monotactinoids one and two okay it contains two isoprene units sesquitactinoids it contains three isoprene units one two and three right diterpenoids contains four isoprene units one two three and four okay so this is about the isoprenes so the, this diagram uh, shows about the compounds formed through or via this biosynthetic pathway that is acetate mevalonate pathway. So from acetate acetyl coenzyme A, so mevalonic acid is formed and this undergoes reactions and gives dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate. Dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate and isopentanyl pyrophosphate both are hemiterpenes. It contains C5 carbon atoms. Both are isomers. Right? So, here dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate it is a hemiterpenoid which contains C5 carbon atoms. So, this dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate in presence of one more isopentanyl pyrophosphate that is IPP uh, it gives uh, geranyl pyrophosphate. So, C5 is 5 monoterpenoid contains two isoprene units and this further in presence of isopentanyl pyrophosphate it gives pharmacyl pyrophosphate which contains 15 carbon atoms and this on further it gives geranyl geranyl pyrophosphate which contains 20 carbon atoms and this pharmacyl pyrophosphate on the other hand it gives squalene uh, which is a triterpenoid that is it, it contains C30 carbon atoms. So this gives you the steroids and uh, from geranyl pyrophosphate we get polyisoprenes. On further addition of isopentanyl pyrophosphate we get polyisoprenes and from this geranyl, geranyl pyrophosphate we get uh, carotenoids also uh, in presence of Two molecules of geranyl geranyl pyrophosphate we get keratinides which contains 40 carbon atoms so this is the isoprenoid pathway or acetate mevalonate pathway so here we can see this is acetyl coa so here what happens is two molecules of acetyl coa involved in the reaction and gives you aceto acetyl coa okay so here two compounds two acetyl coa compounds are involved in the reaction two 
acetyl CoA gives you aceto acetyl CoA. Okay, so this in presence of one more acetyl CoA uh, and in presence of HMG CoA synthase enzyme, it forms HMG CoA that is nothing but beta hydroxy beta methyl glutaryl CoA. Okay, so aceto acetyl CoA in presence of one more acetyl CoA and HMG CoA synthase enzyme, it forms HMG CoA, that means hydroxy methyl glutaryl, HMG, hydroxy methyl glutaryl CoA, okay. So, this undergoes reduction in presence of HMG CoA reductase and gives mevalonic acid, okay. So, this is mevalonic Acid. So this mevalonic acid in presence of ATP, so the ATP it gives a phosphate group to the mevalonic acid and it will be converted into ADP. Okay, adenosine triphosphate is converted into ADP, right, and uh, forms mevalonate 5 phosphate because the ATP it is giving one phosphate group to the mevalonic acid. Okay, so this reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme called mevalonate kinase. Okay, no. next reaction, same in presence of ATP. So the adenosine triphosphate again gives one more phosphate group and can get converted into ADP, adenosine diphosphate. And this converts the mevalonate 5 phosphate to mevalonate 5 diphosphate or it is also known as mevalonate pyrophosphate. So this reaction is catalyzed by mevalonate phosphate kinase. Right? So acetoacetyl-CoA in presence of acetyl-CoA it is forming HMG-CoA in presence of a HMG-CoA synthase enzyme and this undergoes reduction and forms mevalonic acid in presence of HMG-CoA reductase enzyme. Right? So next step is phosphorylation in presence of ATP. So the ATP it provides one phosphate group to the mevalonic acid and get converted into ADP and this reaction is catalyzed by mevalonate kinase. So the mevalonic acid it takes one phosphate group and get converted to mevalonate 5 phosphate. So next step again phosphorylation. So here this step in this step also, uh, in presence of ATP, adenosine triphosphate, so it gives one phosphate group to the mevalonate 5 phosphate and get converted to ADP and forms mevalonate 5 diphosphate or mevalonate 5 mevalonate pyrophosphate. So this reaction is catalyzed by an enzyme that is mevalonate phosphate kinase. So, in the next step, the mevalonate 5-diphosphate or mevalonate pyrophosphate undergoes decarboxylation, removal of uh, CO2 or carbon dioxide from the mevalonate pyrophosphate. Okay, so this reaction is catalyzed by mevalonate diphosphate carboxylase. So, uh, mevalonate uh, pyrophosphate upon decarboxylation it forms isopentenyl diphosphate okay so this isopentenyl diphosphate or isopentenyl pyrophosphate okay isopentenyl pyrophosphate this in presence of isopentenyl pyrophosphate dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate isomerase enzyme it get isomerized and forms dimethyl allyl diphosphate or pyrophosphate dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate okay so these two are the isomers okay so here in presence of an isomerase enzyme isopentenyl pyrophosphate is converted to dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate okay so here with the dephosphorylation that is removal of phosphate molecules it gives hemiterpenes Okay, so because directly it contains C5 carbon atom, so it is a isoprene, right? So this here we have pyrophosphate, two phosphate groups are there. So if you go for dephosphorylation, 
So we'll get isoprene units. This is called hemiterpene. The compounds with C5 which contains only one isoprene unit are hemiterpenes. Okay. So next. In dimethyl allyl diphosphate. So this in presence of one more isopentenyl pyrophosphate. So it forms geranyl pyrophosphate. Here the dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate it contains c5 carbon atoms and isopentenyl pyrophosphate it contains one more c5 carbon atoms both are isomers so they will have the similar molecular formula so here also it contains c5 carbon atoms and isopentenyl pyrophosphate it also contains c5 carbon atoms right so 5 plus 5 the product formed is geranyl pyrophosphate it contains c10 carbon atoms because here it contains 5 carbon atoms and here it contains 5 carbon atoms. So the product formed is geranyl pyrophosphate that is monoterpene. It contains C10. So two isoprene units are combined to form a geranyl. Okay, so geranyl it is a monoterpenoid as it as it contains two isoprene units. This reaction is catalyzed by geranyl pyro phosphate synthase or dimethyl allyl transferase okay uh, this uh, terpenes you will get after the dephosphorylation you have to remove the phosphate group then you will get this monoterpenes next geranyl pyrophosphate in presence of one more isopentenyl pyrophosphate okay so here now the molecular formula is uh, it contains c10 carbon atoms and in case of isopentyl pyrophosphate, it is a monoterpene, so it contains C10. And it is a hemiterpene, so it contains C5. Okay, 10 plus 5. The product formed is farnesyl, which contains C15 carbon atoms. Okay, so here we are having two isoprene units. And here we are having three isoprene units. All the three combined to form a farnesyl pyrophosphate. So the product, it has total three isoprene units so here it is a sesquiterpene sesquiterpene means which contains three isoprene units in their structure right so example is capsidol okay so this reaction is catalyzed by farnesyl pyrophosphate synthase or geranyl transferase so this Farnesyl pyrophosphate now it contains C15 carbon atoms. So this in presence of one more isoprene unit. So here we have three isoprene units and we have one isoprene unit, isopentyl pyrophosphate. So 15 plus 5, 20. So the product formed should contain C20 carbon atoms. Okay, let us see. So the farnesyl pyrophosphate in presence of isopentyl pyrophosphate, it forms geranyl geranyl pyrophosphate. Okay, so here you can see it contains C20 carbon atoms. So it is a diterpenoid. Diterpenoid means it contains four isoprene units. Here we can check, right? The farnesyl pyrophosphate, it contains three isoprene units. And here one more isopentenyl pyrophosphate contains one isoprene unit. So total four isoprene units are there. So if you go for dephosphorylation, you will get the diterpenoids. Example is in And next. So apart from this, the farnesyl on the other hand, uh, if you add one more farnesyl uh, group, okay. So if you combine this farnesyl pyrophosphate with one more farnesyl pyrophosphate, farnesyl pyrophosphate means C15, right? So here we are taking one more farnesyl pyrophosphate molecule, right? C15. C15 plus C15, this C13. So the product formed is triterpenes, which contains C13 carbon atoms. Example is brassinolide, right? So in the same way, we have geranyl geranyl pyrophosphate. Here you can see geranyl contains C10 carbon carbons, right? So geranyl geranyl, two geranyls, 10, 10. Okay, so geranyl geranyl pyrophosphate, it contains 20 carbon atoms. Now we are taking one more geranyl geranyl pyrophosphate. That means here it contains 20 carbon atoms and here it contains 
20 carbon atoms so the product formed will contain 40 carbon atoms so the geranyl geranyl pyrophosphate in presence of geranyl geranyl pyrophosphate it forms tetra terpenes that is it contains 40 carbon atoms example for this is beta carotene So next, so acetate melanate path, mevalonate pathway, it mainly contains, uh, as, uh, it mainly form by the involvement of isopentanyl pyrophosphate and dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate. Okay, so here isopentanyl pyrophosphate and dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate both are formed from the mevalonic acid. So these two help in the formation of the isoprene units, the basic structure of the terpenoids or uh, isoprenoids. Okay, so here you can see. They also produces vast array of uh, monoterpenoids, sesquiterpenoids, diterpenoids, carotenoids, polyphenols, and also the compounds like glycosides and some, some glycosides and some alkaloids are formed uh, via this acetate mevalonate pathway. Okay, so this point we already discussed. So acetate mevalonate pathway or it is also known as mevalonate pathway or it is also known as isoprenoid pathway as it is producing isoprenoids and it is also known as HMG CoA reductase pathway because there is a formation of HMG CoA and this undergoes reduction and gives uh, HM, uh, mevalonic acid. So this pathway is also known as HMG CoA reductase pathway. Okay, so this is uh, an essential pathway, metabolic pathway, uh, which occurs in the eukaryotes, bacteria, and uh, some plants and sorry, uh, in plants and animals. Next, so this this point we already discussed. IPP and DMAPP. These two involve in the formation of the isoprenoid units okay and so this also involved in the formation of cholesterol vitamin k coenzyme q10 and steroidal hormones and vitamin d is also synthesized via this pathway okay so the mevalonate pathway begins with acetyl coa and ends with ipp and dma pp that is dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate okay so it is best known as a target of statins Okay, statins are the class of drugs which uh, uh, lowers the cholesterol level. Okay, so this uh, generally the statins inhibit this uh, HMG CoA reductase within the mevalonate pathway. Okay, so they prevent this uh, formation of all the all mevalonic acid and everything. So the statins are, uh, they target this pathway, the mevalonate pathway and the lowers the cholesterol levels. Next, the same points are repeated. So the mevalonic acid is uh, discovered in the year 1956. So as we already discussed, the acetyl CoA is discovered in 1950. And the mevalonic acid, it is discovered in 1956. And this mevalonic acid, it is nothing but 3,5-dihydroxy-3-methyl-avaleric acid. Okay. So, this is the pathway. Acetyl-CoA and acetoacetyl-CoA. Okay. So, first two molecules of First two molecules of acetyl-CoA combines to form the acetoacetyl-CoA and then 
this acetoacetyl coil it uh, combines with one acetyl coil and forms hmg coil okay so this uh, reaction is catalyzed by hmg coil synthase enzyme and then the hmg coa is converted to mevalonic acid in presence of hmg coa reductase so this mevalonic acid undergoes phosphorylation in presence of atp and forms uh, acetate mevalonate sorry mevalonate 5 phosphate and again it undergoes phosphorylation and forms acetate sorry mevalonate pyrophosphate okay diphosphate at the fifth position Okay, so mevalonate undergoes phosphorylation and forms mevalonate pyrophosphate. Okay? So this is converted to uh, isopentanyl pyrophosphate and the isopentanyl pyrophosphate undergoes isomerization and forms dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate. So the dimethyl allyl pyrophosphate in presence of one more uh, isopentanyl pyrophosphate, it gives pharmacyl pyrophosphate. This is the skin right so the pharmacyl pyrophosphate from the pharmacyl pyrophosphate we get squalene from the squalene we get lanosterol and ultimately it forms cholesterol okay so like steroidal hormones vitamin d and bile acids Here you can see the some of the uh, secondary metabolites produced or synthesized through this pathway. So we get squalene from here, right? From pharmacy, we'll get squalene. Okay. So these are the products obtained from the squalene. Okay. So till here it follows the acetate mevalonate pathway okay from the acetate mevalonate pathway we get squalene and from the squalene we get cholesterol and from cholesterol we get 2022 dihydroxy cholesterol and from which we get pregnenolone. okay so we'll see the products obtained uh, through this pathway so from squalene we get pentacyclic triterpenoids along with the cholesterol okay pentacyclic triterpenoids it gives beta amrin and from cholesterol uh, diogenin and yamogenin are synthesized and diogenin in turn it gives uh, tigogenin and yamogenin and it helps in the synthesis of sarsa sapogenin okay so we also have dihydroxy cholesterol which gives pregnenolone pregnenolone in presence of three carbon units it forms silaranin silaglucosidin and helibrigenin uh, this on the other hand, in presence of two carbon atoms, it forms digitoxygenin, digoxygenin, jitoxygenin, and strophanthidin. Okay, so these are pharmaceutically important. All these are the cardiotonic drugs. Uh, digitoxygenin and digoxygenin are found in the digitalis. Jitoxygenin also it is found in the plant digitalis, which is a cardiotonic used in the treatment of cardiac disorders okay it acts as a cardiotonic and strophanthinidin it is uh, obtained from strophanthus it also has cardiotonic activity diogenin it is a glycosapin glycoside and silaranin it also has cardiotonic effect which is obtained from the squill so next pathway is acetate malonate pathway so in acetate pathway we have both the acetate mevalonate pathway and acetate malonate path so next coming to acetate malonate pathway so acetate uh, malonate pathway uh, it mainly involves acetyl coa and malonyl coa okay so here uh, they function it functionally it operates functionally with the involvement of ACP which is known as acyl carrier protein okay so this acyl carrier protein yields fatty acyl thioesters of ACP right so here 
we have both the acetyl coa and malonyl coa from acetyl coa we will get malonyl coa and the acetyl coa it will be converted to acetyl acyl carrier protein acetate uh, acetate acp okay and malonyl coa will be converted into malonyl acp so this acetate acetyl acp and malonyl acp they involve in the further reactions okay? so the these acyl thioesters forms the important intermediates in the fatty acid synthesis okay so these acyl carrier proteins they yields in the fatty acid acyl thioesters okay these acyl thioesters of that fatty acids forms intermediate fatty acids so here we can see so this is the acetic acid so this is converted to acetyl coa so now this same acetyl coa in presence of carbon dioxide and adenosine triphosphate and it forms malonyl coa okay this reaction is catalyzed in presence of biotin and manganese okay so the so called uh, formed uh, malonyl coa and acetyl coa will be involved in the reaction right here you can see the acetyl coa acetyl coa and this is malonyl coa so this will be converted to acetyl acp acyl carrier protein and malonyl coa is converted to malonyl acp okay so these two involve in the reaction and forms acetoacetyl acp the acetyl acp and malonyl acp they forms together acetoacetyl acp so this undergoes further reactions and so many intermediates are formed here and finally forms palmitoyl acp right so which gives you palmitic acid so that is it contains 14 carbon atoms next this palmitic acid it gives the steroid acp stearic acid which contains 16 carbon atoms and here you can see this on further uh, dehydrogenation a double bond is formed okay initially we are getting the saturated fatty acids so this on dehydrogenation it gives you the unsaturated fatty acids so in case of folic acid here you can see it is forming a double bond right so this on further dehydrogenation this on further dehydrogenation it gives two double bonds And this on further dehydrogenation gives linolic acid and linolenic acid which has three double bonds and linolenic acid upon dehydrogenation it gives arachidonic acid which has four double bonds.